Turbinates are sausage-shaped structures made of thin bone covered by spongy mucous membranes in the nasal cavities. There are three on each side, the lower, the middle, and the upper turbinates. The turbinates have three main functions. They warm the air we breathe, humidify this air as it passes through the nose, and the mucous layer of the turbinates assist in filtering particles such as dust and pollen. The turbinates, particularly the lower turbinate, can block breathing when they are enlarged. The lower turbinates are most commonly enlarged by swelling of the mucous membranes caused by allergies. This enlargement is due to increased blood flow into the tissue, which are then congested. The middle turbinates can also be enlarged if an air bubble develops inside the bone, a condition called conchabulosa. Conchabulosa of the middle turbinates may narrow the space through which the sinuses drain, the osteomyedal complex, and hence can contribute to sinusitis. Excessive and persistent swelling of the turbinates can lead to the filling of nasal blockage, difficulty breathing, significant congestion around and behind the nose, reduced ability to smell, and snoring. Treatment options for large turbinates includes medical management as well as procedural or surgical management. Medical management includes treatment of allergies or saline irrigations to remove irritants such as dust, dirt, diesel, trees, grasses, or molds. Topical nasal steroids are also used to shrink down the tissue. Nasal antihistamines can be useful if patients have significant allergies. If you do not respond to medications, it may be necessary to perform a simple surgery to reduce the size of the turbinates. Turbinates can be surgically reduced either by internal reduction using radiofrequency or external volumetric reduction by a laser, silver nitrate, or surgical removal. Once the turbinates are smaller, people typically have improved nasal breathing. 